So in this video, I'm going to talk about can a helicopter fly in a thunderstorm? Hi, I'm Rick James from The Pilot Teacher and today's video is all about thunderstorms and can helicopters fly in them? Um, generally, you don't want to be. Uh, I got caught out many, many years ago when I was young, dumb, naive and yeah, I got rocked by the downdraft of a thunderstorm and it's not a very, very pleasant experience. Yeah, when I was a young pilot, I needed to get where I was going and I flew through or under a very, very, very black wall. And it was probably one of the most unpleasant experiences I've ever had as a helicopter pilot. And from that day forward, never again. So can helicopters fly in thunderstorms? Technically they can. Do you want to? No. Um, the thunderstorms have got several things that can be really, really dangerous. One, they can create serious downdrafts that an aircraft might not able to be outclimbed. So you're being pushed to the ground by the uh, downwash. If you can't outclimb it, well, guess what? <laughs> you're going to pancakes on the ground. So that's one of the things. The second problem that thunderstorms can create is hail. Um, here in Canada, just in Calgary, a few weeks ago, there was a hailstorm and it demolished um, the northeast side of the city. Uh, pure poor guys, cars were just battered. It looked like a riot had gone off and people were smashing cars in. And that's what can happen to the main rotor blades of the helicopter. Hail can really do damage to them and they affect the profile of the blade and basically it can reduce it producing lift. So again, down you go. Um, you can get heavy, heavy rains. Heavy rains, if it's heavy enough, it can flame out your engine. Um, so just, yeah, there's three things right off the bat that thunderstorms can do to a helicopter, let alone the lightning. Um, you get a lightning strike on the helicopter, you're gonna have the engineers having to go through all the blades, all the transmissions, all the gears, you name it, they've got to go through everything and look to see if there's any arcing all the way through um, the aircraft. So another reason to not go in them. So as a pilot, generally what we do is we'll look at the storm and go around it. And you want to try and go around it by about 20 miles if you can. Um, just because of the downdraft, the lightning, the hail, um, that can spread out for miles either side of the actual storm cell. If you've got a weather radar in the helicopter, you can see the bright red on the screen, so it's easy to kind of plot a path around it. In an A-star like this, um, I have to rely on the Mark 1 eyeball. It's it depends on where you are. If you're out in the, the flatlands or the prairies, like where I am now, you can see the storms coming for miles and you can just pick a line. What I like to do is look at the storm, look at the way it's moving, and then basically go around behind it. Because if you try and race to get in front of it, that can catch you out too. Um, I've had that a couple of times during my early career before somebody said, well, dumbass, why don't you just fly around the back of it? And I'm just like, oh yeah, makes complete sense, right? If you don't know, again, Young, dumb, stupid. So, thunderstorms, fly around the back of them, it's easier. If you can't fly around them, um, it's always a better option. Stick it on the ground, sit and wait it out. If it's gonna pummel you with rain and hail and heavy winds, it's better to be on the ground with the aircraft covers on um, than it is to be trying flying in it and find out the hard way. So, helicopters are great. You stick them on the ground, we only need the size of it in tennis court just to stick it down and uh, fix wings then find a runway get it down because um, the turbulence can cause structural damage if it's really really severe um, and not only that it's just an uncomfortable ride you are hanging on to the seat of your pants um, and i'm a short guy i'm five foot six i wear a helmet and the top of my helmet is just covered in scratches where turbulence has whacked my head against the roof and there's quite a bit of room between my head and the ceiling um, but my helmet is still covered in scratches so it's just a very very uncomfortable experience so can helicopters fly in thunderstorms well, yeah you can do anything really but 
it's not advisable to. If you want a comfortable flight, if your passengers want a comfortable flight, fly around it. If you can't fly around it, stick it down, wait it out, have a nap, play cards, have some lunch, whatever you want to do, just wait it out. It's, it's better to be on the ground wishing you're up there than up there wishing you're on the ground, trust me. Um, so that is thunderstorms and helicopters. If you found it interesting, cool. I'm uh, really glad you like these videos. I love making them. This one was another impromptu video. I kind of came out and saw the storm cell. I'm like, oh, that's a good idea for a video. Um, so if you liked it, give that thumbs up button a smash. It really helps the channel. And um, yeah, hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you got any comments, stick them below. I love reading your comments. If you've got any ideas for other videos or things that you would like me to <laughs> these down drums I've done so many videos now where these drums that are over here they expand in the um, in the heat and they just go boom and sometimes they make me jump <laughs> stupid drums um, so yeah if you've got any ideas for video <laughs> any ideas for video stick them in the comments below um, and if you like that if you if you like this video um, check out the other videos I've got coming up here. Hopefully you'll like them too. And if so, I'll see you on the next one.